Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I decided to share some of my recent purchases with you all. As you know, last week I uploaded the first part of my travel vlog where my husband and I spent the weekend in Marengo, Indiana. Because I am splitting that vlog into two parts, I decided to do this video as like a buffer between the two just in case it's not something that you're interested in or want to see. There's no theme to this video. It's not a book haul. I didn't I haven't bought any books recently, but I have bought random things here and there. So let me show you. First up, I have my Be Plain Seekaful Calming Toner Pads. I love this product. They are just pre-soaked toner pads. This is actually my third container of this. I absolutely love this product. I am a lazy girl when it comes to my skincare. I want to take care of my skin, but I don't want to have to do like a million and one steps to do it. So this just cuts out like a little part of my routine. I first tried them out when we went on our honeymoon to Mexico because I liked the fact that I wouldn't have to pack a toner plus cotton pads. I would say it's helped my skin. I mean, it hasn't damaged it or like made it break out or anything. I do think this has helped with some of the little bumps that I had on my cheeks. I had some texture on my cheeks, but I absolutely love this product. Like I said, it's just easy because it's all pre-soaked. Whatever helps and it comes with these little tongs so that you don't have to stick your fingers in it so it's sanitary or whatever. Next up, I have some Dashing Diva stickers. Hopefully you can see that despite the ring light. I believe it's supposed to give the illusion of like blood on your nails. These are a Halloween edition along with a spiderweb accent nail that again, I don't know how well you can see that. As you can tell, I currently do have a Halloween set on, but I get bored with my nails. I like to switch it up pretty much every week. I have been getting a little bit better about actually leaving them the full two weeks before switching to a set. But for October, I actually have already two other Halloween sets. So I'm basically going to have a new Halloween set for every week of October. I got these at TJ Maxx and a little hack, a little tip that I have for you all. If you do buy the Dashing Diva stickers on their official website, they run about $8. If they're on sale, they're usually for $6. But TJ Maxx, has them for five. I've bought quite a few sets from TJ Maxx because it is, you know, $3 cheaper. That's $3 that you're saving. And a lot of times they will have some of the current sets at TJ Maxx that you can find on their website. Like this right now is on the Dashing Diva website for $8 and I bought it for five. Sometimes the quality isn't the best. It's not terrible though. It just maybe peels a little bit easier than if you bought it from the official Dashing Diva website. It usually will last you like a good week before it starts peeling but there is that slight difference that I've noticed but honestly for the three dollar save I would recommend going to TJ Maxx if you're wanting to try out Dashing Diva this was a great find today next thing that I bought today which isn't really a purchase for me but I bought a birthday card at TJ Maxx for three dollars I don't know how much birthday cards normally run for at like a regular store but for some reason my brain wants to say that they are a lot more expensive than TJ Maxx I haven't bought a a birthday card or you know some kind of celebratory card at an actual retail store for many years just because I think you can get really cute cards at TJ Maxx for what I imagine to be cheaper I don't know if that's true or not but that's just in my brain in my head what I think I think you can get these cards for a lot cheaper at TJ Maxx it is my cousin's 15th birthday I believe this weekend so we're probably going to do a little gift card and put it in this really cute card and like I said it was three dollars the last thing I got at TJ Maxx was this really cute tote bag. <gasps> I think it's so pretty. It's kind of a leafy pattern and kind of orangey ombre with bits of green in there. There's a little pocket on the inside. So sometimes when it's slow at work or I know that my boss isn't going to be in and which means that I have no appointments in the day, sometimes I will take my iPad if I have a video to edit. So I want a tote bag that I can put like my iPad, my keyboard, you know, my 
electronics that I'm going to need. I hope this doesn't come off as wrong. Like I said, I only do this on days that I know I have no appointments and no work to do. All of my work is caught up. That's what I got this little tote bag for. This is very fall because of the colors, but at the same time, the leafy pattern kind of gives me summer vibes. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Very happy with this purchase. And then the last three items that I have are actually for my electronics. I got a new iPad case because as I've mentioned in various past videos, I'm currently having a very green moment. So this is the current case on my iPad. It's still green, but I feel like this is more of a matcha green and I am I'm leaning more towards a darker green. This still isn't my ideal green. I think I think I have a preference of sage, you know, more of a sagey foresty green, but this will do. I do love the more dark tone of this. So since I got that darker color for my iPad case, I figured I would replace my Mac case as well. And this is technically a gift from my sister-in-law because she gifted me some money for my birthday and that's how I got all of this stuff. So shout out to my sister-in-law. So I believe the shade that I got my iPad case and this Mac case is midnight green. So I got matching colors for my Mac and my iPad. It comes with the top and bottom obviously, but it also comes with the little, the little keyboard cover. This is what I currently have on my Mac, just this rainbowy kind of watercolor type thing. And I also bought a matching mouse pad. It wasn't actually a set, I bought them separately. I know that the Mac obviously comes with a touch pad, but I personally prefer to use a mouse. Obviously, that mouse pad does not match my new case. Oh, don't you worry. I also got a mouse pad. <laughs> so, this isn't a solid color, although I thought about it, but. I liked this greenery that it had. Sorry if I keep running my hands through my hair. My bangs today were not wanting to cooperate. I feel like one side is swoopier than the other one, but I, you know, straightened and then the swoop all together. So I don't know why it's like that. So uh, those are the things that I've recently purchased. It's really a mixture of things. I do apologize if this video kind of seems very messy and chaotic. It really is a last minute video. As you know, I posted my travel vlog last week and in case that's something that you're not interested in, which according to the views it is not, I thought I would put this in as a buffer. I know book hauls tend to do better than average on my channel. So obviously that's something that you want to watch and you want to see on my channel so I thought why not do this little haul I've definitely bought things more than I usually do this is a lot for me at least in in one sitting hopefully this was entertaining for you all if you did enjoy it please consider giving this video a thumbs up and also subscribing to my channel if you haven't already thank you so much for watching my name is Elle and I'll see you in next time's video